it's just after nine o'clock. I I'm feeling really rough, so I have a feeling it's going to be a long, tough night. But it, it won't be the first one, and I'll get through it. And Rocky and I will see y'all in the morning. Yeah, I don't feel good though. I've noticed outside. I can hear a lot of howling and stuff. There's something out there every so often that's really howling. Um, canine type sounds. So I don't know if there's if it's coyotes or if it's a wolf or what it is. But there's something anyway out there. It's really quite a beautiful sound. But there again, living the way I'm living, I, I you know, I can't really enjoy it the same because I know the potential danger in it too. But we're in the camper here, so we're pretty safe. Um, when I have to leave here in the spring, uh, that's when sounds like that will become a lot more serious. And um, But even then, I intend to, to have things pretty well fortified. So there won't be much chance of anything getting in at us. I've, I've learned quite a bit over the last two and a half to three years that I've been living this way. <clears throat> I figured out a lot of things that I hadn't figured out yet when I first ended up homeless. When I ended up homeless, I only had about two months notice, and I was busy just trying to shift all my stuff out of my house, get a storage locker and get stuff in it with no vehicle or anything. You know, a storage locker that was 12 miles away with no vehicle and all that, so dealing with the nightmare of trying to rent a truck from U-Haul, which didn't work out at all. It was terrible. Never was able to rent a truck from them, but they were jerking me around for months, for, well, for a couple of months there, right, right up to about a week before I had to leave the house. They were jerking me around. So, anyway, I had a lot on my plate, and um, I just wasn't... Uh, you know, I mean, it was literally a baptism by fire. I ended up in a tent. The last night in my house, I slept on the floor, on the hardwood floor, with, with Rocky and Muella. And um, in the morning, I got up. I had a shower. It was my very last shower. I haven't had a shower since. I've just had sponge baths, you know. And I loaded, and then I ended up in the woods that night. I was at my first night in my tent in the woods with my two cats, Rocky and Muella. Rocky, of course, who you can see right here. Okay. And Muella, who is now buried outside because she got eaten by a fisher my first night here. The first two and a half to three weeks I was in the woods which is where I'm going again. I'm going to end up going back to the same spot and into a tent identical to the tent that I had then. Um, I've ordered, I, I ordered a new one, and I have it anyway. And, um, I actually ordered that tent months ago because I figured the writing was on the wall. I didn't think I was going to be able to stay here for very much longer. So I, I did that to have it for when I needed it, and it worked out good that I do have it. Anyway, um, bottom line is, I didn't have ver anything really in the way of survival skills to speak of. I mean, I was a survivor for sure, but not in that way. Not in the sense of living in the woods and all that, you know, I had no idea what I was truly getting into. But um, I'm wiser now. I, I've, I've had the experiences and I know what I know more about what I'm doing. Anyway, that's it. It looks like um, uh, our, my video size limit is up. Uh, so good night to everybody. Happy New Year to you.